What's up, man? Welcome back to another episode of the Bowling Green Dynasty Rebuild. Hey, yeah. And in today's episode, we have it get cold in Minnesota, cold in Minnesota, cold in Minnesota. You better stay up out the streets if you can't take the heat. Minnesota on the schedule, so they about to get beat. Wouldn't let that shit happen to me, though. Yeah, we got Minnesota on the schedule. As you can see, they are one and two, but do not let the record fool you because teams like like this or come out and play like the number one team in the country when it comes to us so far this season we've played like the number one team in the country it took us a week or two to get the run game going dexter brady has been very very efficient at the quarterback position the defense has been good so far so good in all three phases of a football game for us and we are looking to continue that as we go into big 10 play hopefully we can do that and if you want to see us do that make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell the way you be notified the next time i drop a video just like this one and also slide in the comment section and talk to your boy but of course i know why you guys are here let's hop into it and for the team stats so far this season minnesota has a below average offense but they do run the ball at a top 10 clip actually the number eight but in our case they're probably gonna come out and throw the ball all around the field because that's just how it goes in this game and on the defensive side they are okay as far as total yards passing yards and rushing yards but they give up 31 points per game which will lose you a lot of ball games if you're only scoring 24 and for your bgsu falcons our offense is number one when it comes to scoring points we're only 82nd as far as total yards 18th as far as passing and 119th as far as rushing gotta get those rushing yards up because once we get those rushing yards up our total yards are going to come up and everything will be okay on the defensive side we have been probably one of the best teams third in points fifth in yards allowed number one in rushing yards allowed and we're 80 as far as passing yards allowed but that's only 216 i can live with that we do have a couple guys coming in for visits some custom recruits that i would really like to get the number three halfback flock williams the number two tight end caleb gronkowski and the number eight cornerback khalil johnson i would love to get all of those guys top players for your bgsu falcons of course we got the center Mr. Watkins. We got our kicker, Mr. Rollins. No Ken Nassif Rollins. And we have Tim Swiper. No swiping. You're too late. Swiper the Fox. And for Minnesota, they have a left guard, a QB, and a right guard. So let's see what they're able to do as far as passing the ball. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14. Y'all know what time it is. Innovation that excites. Bowling Green's been the we about to put the some gophers on so the grill. Hey, they the gophers? The and way too early to start I think they are. Hopefully, I'm not wrong. Trophy. In fact, <laughs> becoming a champion is largely about. I might have to look that up. Focus. That does it for us. But anyway, college football pregame Minnesota Enjoy the game. is going on the grill, that. son. No matter what their mascot is. We come to a play. Hey, yeah. The number one team. Every day. Woo, yeah. We consistent. Because we do it. Oh, my God. My offense is fluid. Because Dexter Brady. What? He's accurate. Yeah. And the run game is immaculate. Doyle Your quarterback. Stadium in Bowling we get Ohio, after him. The setting for another wonderful game of college football. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Yes, sir. Real Coca-Cola taste. Zero calorie. Enjoy everything. And he carries okay. the ball for a nice game. Here's the screen to the wideout. And they make the stop at the 42. And he's tackled right around the 50. Let's get it, see, Matt. I had last year. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Ah, I can get to the outside. Gets to about the 47 okay. yard line. Get out there, Kelton Freeman. Bring him down at around the 38-yard line. This passing game can be very effective. 
McDonald gets a carry left side. Uh. Tackle made at the 28. Oh my right God! Down, around the 29-yard line. Perhaps Come on, a good bro. Call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. There we go. Positive yardage. Receivers got it on the screen. Inside the ten. They push him out at the two. That's just a well-executed screen pass. They had the blockers in front. I wanted him to catch that block. I could have. I don't know. Maybe I could have got back inside. Well, there was another guy right there. Never mind. Get up in that seat, man. Good drive to start off the game. Go right down the field. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for. And we got a top 25 matchup between Nebraska and Notre Dame. Nebraska look like they want to win this game. Let's see if they really going to try to run the ball. Wouldn't be surprised if the first play was a pass. And there it is. Tackle. I knew it. The 35. Fakes the handoff. And he's gonna run. He's got the corner. And now he's gonna run. Hit him. Slides down. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's gonna do whatever. The quarterback is good. I know team. this. Definitely gotta stay in our lanes when it comes to him scrambling the ball. Nope. Nope. The okay, starting to, to see why they have five. a lot of rushing yards as a team. First Just down. run through guys. There's Ain't how you get that off. Nope. <laughs> oh my God. And down he goes at about the three yard line. There we go. That's how you tackle. It's DA, the district attorney. Oh, you should have been sacked. You know, he was looking and looking, and he finally said, Should have been a sack. I'll just take I think it's more about the big play from the running backs and why we've seen so many big plays from this offense. We get a tie game at 7-7. Across the 30. He's knocked out of Woo. bounds at the 41-yard line. Gains his way okay. to the 49-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. Hands it to the back. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. And that's the end of the first quarter, and we have a tie ball game. We played one quarter. We're even at seven. Both teams one. went right down the field and scored. He's into the open field. He's at the 30. Oh. He's taken down around the 24 yard line. Time to eat, C Mac. his way to the 16 yard line the 10 makes it to the 8 the offensive coordinator has to be elated uh oh Here's a touchdown Katie Kraft crafting up a touchdown run well, the quarterback just showed us he can beat you with his feet look at him go arm. The and Nebraska the is still up on Notre Dame. Notre Dame, what you gonna game. do for Notre Dame, in this game? They have a lethal pass catch. Will you lose and it results in a to touchdown. Nebraska? Nebraska on top, 14-7. And there's another big run. Bring them down. Makes it out to about the 49.
incomplete, and they make the stop. Man, right what are they calling? And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Holding, offense. Holding on the offense. You big dummy. Oh, my. Yeah. Out of bounds at the 39. That makes it first and 10. There was some movement. Don't start. You big dummy. I don't know where I got 53 from. Ain't no 53 on the line. Very impressive open field tackle. 63. Carries for a pickup of three. You ain't getting out of that. To about the 41 yard line. Throws to the receiver yes. and he's got it again. Oh no. And he's tackled at the 31. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game. Could be a fake. I don't know. And they ain't not faking it. Got the distance. And it's good. good. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, so no four question. possessions between the two teams. Fourteen. Four scores. Ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the ten. At the thirty. Oh my God. The fifty. Oh my God! Inside the time, Jay. Oh, Chris, touchdown! To what a big time return! For Don't that kick it man. to him. Just kick it out of the back of the end zone. He just broke Tasha and Johnson's record. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Swipe at the fox. Brought down around the 35 yard line. All right, and nobody's blocking. Gotcha! The London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. There's another big hit. Of all this mayhem, he's gonna go for the home run. Big hit! That close to being intercepted. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that. One. <laughs> they get this one off, and it's a beauty. Humphrey takes it at the twenty. He's out to the 30, heading for the corner. Ah! He's tackled at the 40. McDonald's game is about giving it to him and giving it to him and giving it to him again, Kirk, and he just keeps ramming it in there, and he's not disappointing anybody. McDonald, left side. Tackle made around the 43-yard line. Oh, joking! Gains his way Gain to the 43-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. Oh my God. Yeah. Nice on that run. That's a That'll bring up second and three. Fires it out. It's and David Bale. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ooh, good block. Good block. Touchdown, down see you, man. Some good blocking on that play, son. Two touchdowns on the ground today. That was just an excellent Some pancakes. Y'all hungry? Near on, near on, near on. And we have a tie ball game between Nebraska and Notre Dame. We've been keeping an eye on this one all day. It's a game. They're in danger I wish I could see it. Third straight game. Because the end. You might not believe it. Nice run there. They'll bring him down around the 41 yard line. Oh my God! We cannot miss the tackle. 
Ball All those tackles. Under pressure, looking for the corner tackle around the 30 yard. And what happened there? A lot of jersey on that play. Not too much Holding. argument about this call. Holding. Offense. Okay. You big dummy. That's a great Come tackle. Oh man. Gotcha, bitch. He's gonna try and scramble. He gets it's a finally tackle. Play. Now he tries to buy some time. He's no, sir. He scrambled, but he didn't get much. Yeah. The kick is away. Yes. And it's good. And he just drilled it from long range. And that'll do it. We head to the All break. Right. Still plenty of time left in this one. We up by Green, 15. Up by 15. Should be more. Hi everybody, glad to have I feel you like with us Minnesota is Sports, having their best output as far as offense. Nissan, innovation that excites. Davis and I only got them 13 points. As always, to lend a little perspective to what we got to clean it up the on the defensive side. We cannot be allowing guys to scramble, especially when we in positions to make plays. Tell me that the football was so important they named the game. There's no way we should Whatever miss three means. tackles. I think it means that you're not supposed on to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these several times he should have been sacked. No doubt, and most games are lost, not won, and it's because of the turnover. They got 124 rushing yards, and a lot of them came off of scrambles. You know. Both and I'm starting to see why taking care of it. they have Both a lot of rushing yards they average still calling per game, game. Still, still scoring points, still putting up not concerned with our passing game because time, we really haven't the had to pass the ball. We've just been running it, give it away honestly. Bad things happen. David and I will be keeping an eye on That's the same thing they've been doing. Else going on in the country here in our palatial we just got to stop them the from studio. doing it. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nestler and Kirk Herb. Knock it out of there. He can't make the grab. Not a great throw by the quarterback. Oh, oh it's a fumble. The defense has it. Picked up by Stanley Oliver. Touchdown. That's exactly what, what we needed. On the defensive side. Real deal. We're about ready to find out. Somebody makes a play. He gets to about the 34-yard line. Goodman takes Tackle. the toss right, and he's taken down at the 32-yard line. I believe I can do it. Get him! And he is drilled at the 28. Xavier Norton. I guess that pep talk I gave the defense yeah. kind of lit a fire under him at halftime. Fields at the 29. He's taken down at the 35. Going long. Caught sideline ah. and he stays in. Nice play. David Good Bell. job here by the quarterback is staying with his receiver. And the receiver stays with Eventually, the they're going to start trying to stop the run. The strength to get it there. And that's going to free up David Bell. And they make the stop at the 10. That touchdown, seed man. You can't stop that boy. The Falcon is enjoying. He's been a force. The sight three times on the field. Boy, this guy's been huge. He's taken down right around the thirty. Makes four sacks today. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to put your keep quarterback them off so they under the bridge. The He's drowning now. No, God! And he's going Brett, to the sack. coming out of the woods for a sack. That's how you get pressure on the quarterback. Yeah. He really got a hold of that one. Humphrey fields it at the 35. Brought down at the 48 yard line. Here's the give. And he's tackled around the 45 yard line. That makes it second. Quick strike to the receiver. 
Here's that one. He's at the three. And you get me my man. Yeah. I thought he had it. Maybe I should have tried to die for it. Either way, it's a big play. To the left, to the left. They get on the board and in the HB strips to the what left. What a game this kid's having. Four rushes, update time. And Nebraska is up by 14. All day long, the Cornhuskers hammer that running game on and Notre score Dame. a touchdown. Nebraska on top, 28-14. He scrambled. Ah, get him. Down. They simply have too much speed for this offensive line. They're just too quick off the ball. Throw All on it. Very good tackle in space. Not get loose. Quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. The Max Rams with the hit. Yes, it was. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's to the forty. He gets hit out of bounds. Well, I need one more block. He's being the aggressor and attacking the defense. He's on the run. Let's throw it away. He gets rid of this one. Oh! And he tackles him hard at the 22-yard line. It ain't no fun if the big fella can't get none. And he hits him hard at the 20. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen and he shoved out of okay. bounds at about the five yard line. That makes it first and goal. Hey. He's out of bounds at the two. Good block. And there's another touchdown, touchdown for C Man. Scrambling. Tackle made at the 28 yard line. And he's level at the 41. They'll bring him down at the 50. And that's the end of the third quarter. Complete dominance in the third. Didn't allow a score, and we scored a lot. That pretty much sums it up. Why are you running? Ah! Bring him down. Tackle at the 41 yard line. Xavier Norton. Surprise, motherfucker. Got him again. Spread coming out of the woods. Yeah. Humphrey fields it at the 24, heading for the corner. He's pushed out of bounds around the 50 yard line. He's at the 30. That's the all corner. he needed. The 10. He That's scores. all he needed. Hey, go sit on the bench. Go sit on the bench, my boy. You're doing too much right now. <laughs> You're doing too much right now. You got the record. Go sit down, my boy. Oh my God, he on X Games mode. And Nebraska is still up by 14 on Notre Dame. This one's been entertaining us all Looks like day long. they are going to improve the two and two, and Notre Dame is going to drop the two and two. His pads has led him into the end zone twice. The Cornhuskers have the lead by 14. He's tackled around the 23 yard line. Here they come. And he's scrambling again. And he's taken down around the 42 yard line. Just got to get to him. That makes it first and 10. Got caught up on the offensive lineman. It should have been a sack. He's 
gonna try and scramble. Damn. Down at about the 43 yard line. I got a spy on you now, my boy. That makes it second and ten. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That's good for a game of 16 yards. First down. He just cooked them on the route. Good tackle. At about the 45. That Jay Jones? Yes, sir. That's the nobody. Just throws this one away. Yeah, it's gonna be short. The 38 yard line. We coming for you, nigga. You better get it out. Well, you have to admire the defense for showing some pride here. The game's obviously out of hand, but they haven't We're given up. the woods. Stop. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. Not Kane Graham. Make the stop at about the 23-yard line. Not Kane Graham. That's the thing about Kane Crabb. He understands that we don't need him to be Superman. We don't need him to throw the ball in the coverage. We just need him to be him. And that's good enough for me. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Good outside run there. Yeah, uh, nothing going on there. The crowd saying we won six. I understand. Ah. He's tackled at the twelve yard line. He scrambled. Here comes the pressure. Uh, and down he goes around the eight yard and line. And what are they calling? Personal, Personal foul. foul. Face A face man. Defense. Defense. Thank you. They get on the and there again. goes Touchdown. six. Just for the crowd. Strong Freddie Falcon likes it too. To get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure He's bet. Golden golden and Nebraska beats Notre Dame back. by 21. Mastery of the passing game. Oh my God. As he busted the 200 yard mark. Is this real? In the game. It's a throw away. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. And now the ball is loose. There's a fumble. It's recovered. I don't know if he was down or not. One of the guys in the defensive backfield are ball hawks. And the safety showed it there by pouncing. I really on the don't know. Was he down? The question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball yeah, he was came down. out before he was down. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Quick toss. Big throw! Incomplete. Almost picked off. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Pick. It's intercepted, and that should do it. Inside and that's Swiper. The With a 10. Fox down. down. Clock keeper, just keep it moving for Kirk and I, will you? We want to get out of here. Even hit him with a little hurdle. Hey, I missed it. Under pressure, and he throws it away. Tackle made around the 27 yard line. Like, I don't know why you would. Like, why would you hike the ball again? Why would you run another play? Under heavy pressure. They'll bring him down. I guess they did get some yards. Willis takes the give. Runs outside for Okay, y'all did that just to run the ball? Makes no sense to me. But anyway, 
complete dominance from the BGSU Falcons. This is this is something that we pretty much expect here in his dynasty. And when we don't get it, we cry about it. <laughs> but all in all, good game. C Mac had one hell of a day. Uh, Caden Kraft ran the offense to perfection. Latage returning a kick. And also making those punt returns look a little more exciting. And we also had a scoop and score. Stanley Oliver. But C Mac, he was just, he was running all over their defense. Hey, they didn't have an answer for the run game today. Even Kayden Kraft got in on it a little bit, so. And still throwing the ball when you're down 70 to 13. And you get picked off. And now you're now you're losing 77 to 13. <laughs> One hell of a day. And like I was saying before, Caden Kraft ran the offense to perfection. We didn't ask a lot of him, but he made plays happen when we asked him to. Eight of nine, 156 yards, zero TDs. One of those should have been a TD. David Bell got stopped at like the two yard line. Anyway, zero interceptions, completed 88% of his passes. Didn't get sacked at all. Just, I love it, Caden. Just, just keep going. You're only a sophomore. One of these days, we're gonna need you to throw for three or 400 yards. But today was not the day because we had C-Mac, 21 carries, 178 yards, six TDs. Yeah, man, he was just, he was just everything for the offense today. Also, Kevin Kraft had 69 yards on six attempts and a TD. Running the ball very good for him not to be a scrambling quarterback. As long as the threat is there, we can make something happen. On the receiving side, David Bell led the way with four receptions, 109 yards. That was pretty much it for the receiving yards. Uh, Ketcher Freeman, he did catch two passes for 30 yards, but really didn't do a whole lot passing the ball today. On the defensive side, London Bridges led the way with seven solo tackles, three TFLs, and two sacks. Shout out to you, my boy. Uh, Freddie Jackson Jr. had six solo tackles. Brett Woods had five solo tackles, three TFLs, and three sacks. Uh, Derek Austin had a TFL. Tim Fox had the pick six at the end of the game. Max Rams had a TFL. Stanley Oliver had a TFL. And the scoop and score. Uh, Kyle had two TFLs and two sacks. Um, Who forced the fumble? Let's go see. Max Rams forced the fumble. Okay, so the sophomore out there making plays for us. And of course, we know Stanley Oliver scooped it up. Stanley Oliver is only a freshman. So we're looking forward to having him for another three years after this one. And we did have some stats to talk about as far as kick returns because Latage returned one for 106 yards, breaking the record of Tayshawn Johnson and also getting into the end zone. Of course, if you run 106 yards, you ain't got no choice but to get in the end zone. And he also had 110 yards on five punt returns so when you're averaging 22 yards per punt return that's very good and for the games around the country we got mississippi state taking down lsu 28 to 17. kent state gets a victory over kansas 30 to 14. we got a big 10 battle between penn state and iowa and penn state comes out on top 38 to 24. we got charlotte taking down fau 38 to 24. and we got a top 25 matchup between two pac 12 teams with kyle number six 16 Kyle getting a victory over number 15 Utah 43 to 35 Kyle scoring 19 straight points in the fourth quarter but Utah scored 21 straight in the third it was a game of runs there wasn't it and we got Virginia getting a victory over Wake 33 to 14 when it comes to the game stats of course the first quarter is always somewhat competitive and the second quarter was somewhat competitive I guess I mean we did go 21 to 6 and that was because those two drives that they had well they could have scored touchdowns they had to kick field goals so my defense did get off the field but not in time enough to keep them from scoring but we do so in the second half in both quarters 28-0 in the third 21-0 in the fourth 77 to 13 and if you look at like the yards and stuff you would think like how did they score 77 points that's a good question we had 18 first downs to their 13 280 rushing yards to their 128 you know that team was averaging like 280 yards rush so we stopped it or slowed it down anyway we only had 156 
six passing yards, but like I said before, we can live with that when he scores 77 points. And a lot of that goes to Latage because he did return a kick return, and he was also putting us in good positions with those punt returns that he had. So that factors into it. We also had a pick six and a scooping score. So that's 14, well, actually 21 points from the defense and special team. So that factors into it. Offensive player of the game, of course, it goes to C-Mac and the defensive player of the game goes to Brett coming out of the woods. We got Brett in the woods, that's a scary sight. And for the recruiting board, we have some good news, but before we get to the good news, still trying to get these custom recruits as usual. Xavier Massey, Riley Wade, Laurel Damian Jr. All in a running for these guys. Caleb Gronkowski, he had a good visit. Um, let's see, anybody else have a visit? No. Dakota's Lewis, losing on him. Richard Buckus, we're on top of his board after the visit. And we're sitting on top of Khalil Johnson's board after the visit as well. And we all know about the other recruits, guys that are trying to find a spot here on the team, or we're trying to find a spot for them because we're recruiting them. They're not trying to get to us. Anyway, um, I did find some linebackers, like these two guys. I believe both of these guys were gems. If I'm not mistaken, did they show that? No, this guy was a gem. And I think the middle linebacker was a gem. Yeah, so found two gems. But all in all, we got 79 overall, a 79 overall, 77 overall, a 80 overall, and a 79 overall for my middle linebacker core. Hopefully, we can get some of these guys to commit to the team because we have seniors that are about to graduate. And we also need guys to fall in behind some of the guys we already have on the team. That's the same thing with the safety position. Really, I look at free safety and strong safety. I just look at safety. I don't really look at the free or the strong because the majority of these guys can play both. So we also need a kicker. So I added another one just in case. We're sitting on top of this guy's board. We did have a visit in that week and we jumped up to the top of his board. But the good news that I was talking about earlier, Will Griggs committed to the BGSU Falcons. So we have another good quarterback coming in. We are not gonna run out of quarterbacks anytime soon here. And we're not gonna run out of halfbacks anytime soon here because we got Flock Williams coming in straight out of Georgia, ATL to be exact. And for the top 25, we are still number one. Texas is number two. Michigan is number three. They drop even though they win. It's probably because Texas played Auburn. Alabama at number four, even though they're three and one. Michigan State at five, Clemson at six, Texas A&M at seven, Shakir Johnson and the boys moving on up, Georgia Southern at eight, California at nine, and Georgia at 10. We'll scroll on down. Ohio State is moving back up and actually move up six spots from 17 to 11 and they didn't play a game. Okay. Auburn drops one spot after losing to Texas. Uh, North Carolina is up. Maryland is up. Oregon's down. Nebraska is up. There's a lot of moves movement going on down here at the bottom and here is a big move tennessee drops from 5 to 22 after they lose to ucf okay and we got west virginia washington dropping after they lose to ucla and we got iowa state rounding out the top 25 and for the big 10 east michigan state still sitting on top even though we have two wins inside the conference they only have one this will work itself out. Also got two, three, and one teams in here behind us, Indiana and Penn State. Ohio State's two and one, and Michigan is three and oh, but no wins in the conference. So the Big Ten East might be a little tough this year, and the West side might be a little weak this year. But we got Wisconsin sitting on top right now, one and oh. Notre Dame already two and two in the conference, one and one in their division. Not a good start if you want to make it back to the Big Ten championship game. And for the Heisman, watch we got c mac sitting on top right now he said this is still my throne until somebody takes it from me but we got caleb huffman coming for that spot he's sitting at number two and trending upward 17 carries 105 yards four tds also three receptions and 40 yards through the air and a td rj from the hood he's trending downward right now 14 carries 103 yards we have keith hall he had a good day as far as yards and touchdowns i mean that completion percentage is not that great under 50 percent but still a good day and then we have ken jones from appalachian state having himself a ball game and the ncaa offensive player of the week goes to c-mac of course six tds the record yes sir and if you made it to this part of the episode you already know how it go on this show it's the outro oh no 
So far this season, there hasn't been a shortage of points for the BGSU Falcons. Been able to score on the offensive side, on the defensive side, on special teams, on the ground, through the air. We just know how to manufacture points here in Bowling Green. And we also know how to play defense. So far, we only gave up 17 points as the high, and that was against number 16, Nebraska. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. But we don't need to look too far in the past because in the future, we have Wisconsin on this game schedule in the next episode they're two and one we should come out just like we did against minnesota expect a team that's going to come out and punch us in the mouth try to knock us off course because that's how teams beat us they come out in the first quarter they try to overwhelm us play their best football and hope that we can't recover but most of the times we do recover in the second half and end up blowing teams out but i want to continue the trend of scoring on our first position letting the other team know that we aren't going anywhere and also i want you guys to let me know if you like the videos by hitting that like button also subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell that way you be notified the next time i drop a video just like this one and also slide in the comment section and talk to your boy and if you're doing all those great things you can't get on the shout out list and speaking of the shout out list i got it right here shout out to michelle jackson product visuals eric rams matt aarons warmaster 777 thomas bays dare deonnie patterson jackie youtube arsenio patillo andrew minton aaron meyer roscoe underscore thought Defoe, Crafty, Eagle Craft, Little Hair Guy, Cameron Hewlett, Quan D, Matthew Dillard, Dirty Creek Sports, Leland Clark, The Rock and Roll Millennial, Tay Burns, Ethan Marlowe, Aaron Kaufman, The Number One Mega General, Sean Griggs, HB, FLG Blanco, Wheelchair Man 2, Envy Me, Gandy Man, Sean Malden, and LaRon Danny. And like I say in every episode, I appreciate all you guys and gals for doing the things that you do, helping this channel get to where it is, because I wouldn't have over 2K subscribers without you, and I appreciate you. But I ain't gonna hold y'all up for too much longer. I am your HC. This is B. G season 10 big 10 trying to go for another win in the end but right now we're in the present but until next time i'm out